What's good, superstars? Back with another VV video. You got superstar Joe. You got superstar Rob in the building. How's it going, Rob? You? How you doing? Oh, oh, they were saying you gave me a little bit too hard punches yesterday, so I had to make sure to give you some more action-packed jabs. Guys, if you're new here, do not forget, become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button down below. It's Decon Weekend coming up, and we're going to be putting out all kinds of content. Make sure you have that bell on so you know when we post. We might be going live from Decon, so if you cannot make it to Decon, you might want to have the bell notifications turned on. Also, become a superstar VIP. $2.99 a month, you get a nice badge next to your name. You're going to rank up through the levels. I mean, if you get to that super duper rare, there's going to be a great prize at the end of the tunnel, I, I feel like. I feel like we're going to have to make something happen there. Also, uh, access to our spreadsheets that cover every single thing in VV possible. Um, <laughs> we have first dibs on merch, which we're going to be sending out very soon. I know, I know that's been hashtag soon, hashtag soon, but we're trying to get the best prices on the shipping we could have just sent it out and made you guys pay 40 bucks shipping but we don't want to do that so we are negotiating we're negotiators right now <laughs> um also um star in the universe end of every single month sebas is going to get his uh star this this week as well it is going to be a great time thank you to all of the vip this is updated i updated this right before the video so all of you thank you very much for being part of the vip making our day keeping us motivated Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. On Twitter, you will find our VV profile. In the description, you will find the best Discord of all time, no cap. And you will also find our PO box if you want to send us something cool. Um, this was yesterday. I'm going to keep it up again because he's a Hall of Famer, you know, and he's trying to sell his um, 9.2 Spider-Man 300. It's uh, keep calm and stack on. Obviously, he's trying to get to decon. Gas is expensive. So if you guys are looking for the physical of this book, uh, reach out to keep calm and stack on or let us know and we'll reach out to him for you. And McFarland Toys, they have a promo going on until the end of the month. We're going to be showing this all month long. First link there, you're going to link your wallet to your email. Second link is where you're going to go to their toy store and buy some actual physical toys. So you're going to have something for your money if the project doesn't work out or whatever. Um, you still get something, which is I think that's one of the cool parts about it. Um, you can get you can get a bunch of stuff. And I don't know, it brought back the fun of collecting toys and, and action figures and stuff like that for me. But uh, those are the codes, digital superstar, digital or uh, superstar, super fan, superstar. Uh, each one, you can use the superstar part of it or not. Uh, if you don't use it, you get the same promo. Uh, the only thing, if you use a superstar, we get a little bit of kickback and it is uh, a little bit of affiliate. So really cool. Yeah, not just gas is expensive, by the way, right? You got food is expensive. You get a lot of things. Loaning money is expensive. Rates are high. A lot of things are expensive. It's going to lead into today's video topic a little bit later. Yeah, so we did do five whitelist giveaways for the McFarland project. Um, that, that's dropping on December 1st. And I only got back three responses. So um, new tactics, Sarah and Jerry Clough got back to me. Uh, I said if they didn't get back by the end of the week, we were going to raffle off. So we have two spots available for raffle, and they're going straight to the VIPs. Um, for everybody who has been supporting us and continues to support us up through this point, uh, that's how we decided. So we're going to bring the VIP wheel up. We're going to click it twice, and those will be our two new winners of the last two whitelists and the winner is oh brandon Lackos. oh brandon Lackos. let's go let's that go was, that was a tight one i'm just writing it down here so make yeah. sure you get you reach out to us on twitter here somewhere i'm gonna put it in our youtube community page but uh we're gonna have to do that um again for the second winner let's see who it is and hopefully this may the time juju be with you may the juju be with you Hopefully this time you guys respond. It's, it's important. Oh, no. Superstar consultant. Ian Barnes. Let's go. There we go. He, he's not only a VIP. He is an OG superstar. I think he's been there since we had like 100 subscribers. So shout out Ian Barnes for joining the VIP. And your, your membership is paying off. You're getting a whitelist spot for McFarland Toys. Congratulations. Yeah, he's showing up in the comments every single day. So I can't wait till he sees this. He's got that juju um yeah so let's talk vv let's talk of uh the vv page first appearance of warpath this comic is coming out uh probably tuesday i think yeah tuesday blind box uh it it doesn't really tell you how many it's going to be but it's looking like it will be 10k probably just because that seems to be the pattern yeah um they're pretty cool covers though on, they, on they might have to break the i don't know if we'll ever break the pattern and go under 10k do you think I, I don't know if the conditions will eventually hit that but yeah right now 10k seems to be the pattern they did. They did put get some a couple tier D comics, like very low end comics. They put out for twenty because it was X Men. Yeah, if you remember that. But we'll see all this. There's, 
there's been some comics some i don't know i was picking up some werewolf by night first appearance of werewolf by night for like two bucks i'm like okay uh i i, I think that's a little bit cheap considering it's like a lower run mint run but yeah anyway where's one dollar comics like can we officially say the day has come one dollar comics or one dollar collectibles might be coming well that's that, today's drop I, I, we've been talking about yeah we've been talking <laughs> i don't about know if you guys well. went for it today i told you guys yesterday i was gonna go for it i actually missed the actual like 11 o'clock but yeah. We were right. Did not sell out right away. Um, it looks like it's on its way, though, um, yeah. from what I've been seeing. Every time I look, there's less and less available. Um, but I ended up picking one up like at two o'clock in the afternoon and and I ended up getting the uncommon. I got this one here on the right. Uh, yeah. So it was a fail because I think she's going for like four gems in the, maybe, in the secondary less. market. Maybe but, less. Uh, it was a gamble. It's like a scratch ticket. You know, I had 5% chance to get the ultra rare, which is doing very well. It's, it's actually doing way better than our prediction. We thought it would be like 60. It's yeah. like one. 40, 150 right now? Well, I mean, if the, for four gems, what's going to happen after the airdrop? That's the problem. Like, what happens for some of them were going for 299, Rob? The comments I, were going I saw for less. I, thought, I saw 220. Yeah, I so saw low to $2. I don't know. I think people just don't want this stuff. So, after the airdrop, do they go for $1? Do they go for 50 cents? What I happened? So. I, I mean, it might be already so low that, like, why sell it at that point? Like, it might be so low that's like, am I going to really just sell this right now to recover yeah. five bucks? So what like tanks? People, Just the ultra rare tanks then? An ultra rare for sure is going to get destroyed. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, you might but get it for know, thirty or, or twenty. We'll I see. don't know about that. I don't know about that much, but it's going to get crushed at least fifty percent. So if it's at one fifty right now, I could see it then finally hitting the sixty seventy that we predicted, right? Maybe. Um, yeah, maybe that's what it is. We didn't we didn't price in the airdrop well enough. Maybe. I don't think so. I don't think so. People look like they want it. There's not a lot of them available. It's going to be a pretty scarce airdrop, but. I still haven't completed the set because it's still pricey to complete. Like, yeah, you still got to got 150 gems. Yeah, you got to spend exactly right. You, people don't want to spend that kind of money right now. People are are concerned that everything's going to zero. What's the so, the date? Is it the 24th or something or 27th that we got to have it done? 27th, 27th, 27th. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Their airdrop, their airdrop history has been a little bit. Uh, but no time. They didn't give a time this time. They just said the day. Oh, they really? Didn't time. They didn't say what time. Yeah, it doesn't say a time yet. You're right. Because they know better now. We've 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 <laughs> we've complained quite a bit. They know better now. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they're just maybe they'll just surprise drop it too. They won't tell you what day you're getting it. Maybe kind of like those people from the decon kickoff party where they they're supposed to get the VV logos and we haven't seen them yet. Right, um, right. I wasn't there, but I know keep comp stack on. A bunch of others are there. Yeah. Um, okay. Over to our Twitter. Uh, the charity auction number eleven by Benjamin is uh, up and running, and I think it is for the Black Panther Ultra Rare, and he's sitting around. 80 gems. So that's not bad. I mean, for ultra rare and it's going to charity. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. hundred percent of the profits go to feeding America. So if you guys want to do something like that, um, there you go. And yeah, he's yeah. matching it a hundred percent. I just saw that. Incredible. Oh, wow. Super nice. We need more of that in this, in this community. Duck and Duck cover. And cover. Uh, long time superstar. I don't know what it was, but I just had the feeling last night that if I bought a rise of Ultraman collectible from the store, it would be ultra rare. Sold the DeLorean, and guess what? Hit the ultra rare. That's some juju. Duck and cover. Congratulations. Welcome to the juju fan. Yeah, he knows. He knows. He knows. He's worked for his juju. He knows. Hashtag juju. Um, just have to make sure you guys saw that. <laughs> Rob, this is getting ridiculous, all right? Jack the 95, I think, what? might have the longest juju streak of all time. I think so. I think so. Drop he, of he the day. He just brings it every day. He just Marvel brings it every day. Just- Always goes for it on the drop, too, and always hits. It's ridiculous. So He has no he days did. off. He has no days <laughs> off. This I'm is- dying now because he puts in a little line or a sentence talking about the Juju. Last time it was like how Juju is his friend. Now it's, did you say Juju? He yeah. is very present and watches over my lucky star. <laughs> yeah, his lucky star. He <laughs> just sure. ever. He just, you he see just the number, it. by the way? What? <laughs> number 62. Wow. The Oh, oh my. Oh, my. <laughs> killing it. He's just killing it. Jack the 95 VIP is just, I said, arrange juju on you every day. Like This is incredible. Yeah. You might have the most juju I've ever seen. The juju is strong within him. It's very, very strong within him. <laughs> the juju has spoken. That was about Duck and Cover. Yeah. Um, uh, incredible. So, I mean, that's that's crazy. Now, the, the question is, and we talked a little bit about it, Um, we've seen the prices in the secondary market of some of these. And these aren't the most um, minted uh, Marvel Mighties. We've seen some that have tens of thousands of mints or 15,000 mints and doing much better than these that only have, what, 4,500 or something like that? Yeah. Uh, And they're going for two bucks. So 
does that like what is happening rob i mean are we getting to the point where maybe we're too early like we always say we're early we always say we're still very early we're still early but are we too early is it time for us to pick up our bags go do something else come back in a year or two and then maybe we'll be early what do you think i think there's a lot to talk about this specific issue and uh just one more thing i wanted to say yesterday's video i was joking around a little bit i mean we've been talking a lot about one dollar collectibles and we've alluded to it on previous videos not just yesterday but i was actually surprised how close these these ones came to one dollar so it does beg the question now like are we just too early to this space that look at that 280 are we just too early to the space that you you basically are gonna have to just wait it out like forever and you know, we saw this, if you think about it, we saw this with Bitcoin, right? Like think about how long it took. I first heard about Bitcoin in 2012. I don't know about you. But that's when I first heard about it. Think about how long it took for the pump in 2017, five years. Think about how much your life changed between 2012 and 2017. Exactly. If we're going to go down that same rabbit hole here with VVNFTs, that means you shouldn't expect anything until 2025. <laughs> right? So it could keep going down. I mean, we can we can have a long slide down here. You can be accumulating. You could have one dollar collectibles. You can have fifty cents collectibles. I mean, if it, if the demand is not there and you start diluting the market, adding more things, you're not bringing in new people, new users. The money just gets spread and spread and spread. Um, everything will dip. Uh, but I mean, there's got to be a point in time where um, I don't know what what is that point in time? Is it ten cents? Is it fifty cents? Where people say they start looking at other things to sell. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 one of those things where uh, you know, like if you if you remember, we did make a video back in March, and all your VV collectibles are going to zero. But of course, we didn't mean actual zero. It's the limit of zero. It's taking it to the limit, right? It's yeah. it's a curve that looks like this, and it curves and it flatlines. And as more and more mints come into the system now, you can see the money that's because the growth isn't there. The money just keeps getting spread thinner and thinner amongst all these different collectibles. Because it's the same exchange of hands. And the market itself is deflationary because there's burning of money. There's an 8.5% transaction fee. So every yeah. time there's transaction, 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 if enough money isn't going back in, the burns end up out burning the money coming in. I want to bring some perspective here, though. Like, let's not forget, despite us talking about, you know, taking it to the limit, going, you know, going to zero, all that stuff. Look at Meta. Meta was trading at 200 six months ago. This is back when people were talking a lot about metaverses back when there was a lot of hype still, even in VV. And it had a glorious dump. It came down to 90 gems. Uh, sorry, I said gems. 90 <laughs> US, okay? So from 200 to 90, that's over 50% loss in six months. And this is a major, major. We're talking about NFTs that do nothing. This is a major company that actually produces something for society. It has real income, a real balance sheet, a real cash flow. And even it got crushed partly because, number one, they're spending a lot of money in research and development right now in order to build this metaverse company, right? And number two, you obviously have the the, the ecosystem. The U.S. dollar was, was strengthened. You know, they, they get a lot of ad money. So their income actually went down. Like they had made less income than expected and their expenses flew. And it got bad. It got to the point, like, it's crazy, you know. When money's on the line, people start dealing with their emotions. You have Jim Cramer uh, crying on TV, basically, crying because he was telling everybody, yo, Meta's the place to go, Metaverse, Metaverse, Metaverse. And basically, they started outspending more than anyone ever thought. And sure enough, the, the stock market, uh, the stock plummeted. And then Jim Cramer had to go and apologize to everybody because he was, he was trying to pump it, right? He was trying to pump Meta. So – are you then therefore too early to invest in Meta if you bought it at 200? I mean, obviously, the, someone could say the price says you're too early, but does that really mean you're too early? I don't know if I'm ready to continue that thought yet. I want maybe, Joe, maybe you step in here. What do you think? Well, I, I think you brought up a good point talking about Facebook Meta, um, talking about how their their stock kind of came down. And and that's how and I, I love how you put it. You said that that's a real company with real and uh, not not that Vivi's not a real company, but that's a, a company that is world world renowned everybody in the world pretty much uh that's that's on the stock market um is aware of meta and and what they do and mark zuckerberg i mean facebook's one of the biggest companies in the world um and the fact that they took that hit to me you look at it as a hit you look at it as is uh is it is it down and and in the dumps i look at it as opportunity so now i mean that's a stock if i believe in this space 
I should believe in that stock and, and, and the other hand, right? So, so if we're going to look at things this way, um, am I, am I better off putting my money into NFTs and VV, um, which is even more speculative, which probably won't turn until meta turns. Am I better off putting my money into meta than I am putting my money into VV at this point? Because more people know about meta. And if this space actually is going to take off, I think meta has to do well before we even see that re represented in VV. Now, um, I think VV obviously has more potential to make more money or I wouldn't be putting money into it just because it's an unknown space. And since no, since people do not know it, it means there's a lot more room for it to grow, a lot more room for people to, to invest in. But I just think that there are other things and other opportunities right now that maybe we wouldn't have had, like you said, six months ago, a year ago. Um, if, you, if you look, if you look hard enough, there's, there's things that people have been chomping at the bit for to see Facebook under a hundred dollars or to see, um, Apple at prices that are like all these big companies, Google, Amazon, they're all at prices that people never thought they would see again. Um, so this is something I'm saying, like, maybe it's time to start considering other things that are a little bit more, uh, standard investments, a little bit more, um, conservative, I guess you would say, um, rather than investing in VV collectibles. Uh, until maybe a little bit further down the line, once the economy shows some true recovery, um, because what's the point if things are just going to keep going down the toilet? You're going to spend thirteen dollars. Like thirteen dollars, we used to say that's a cheap air drop. That's a cheap drop. What is your risk? What's your risk? Well, now your risk is eleven gems. Like that's ninety percent off the bat almost. <laughs> that's that's bad. So <laughs> so at what point are you too early now? It's ninety percent loss right off the bat. <laughs> like is is Meta going to go down another ninety percent? I don't think so. But, yeah. but why am I why am I going to do that off the bat? So I want to hear from you guys on that as well. But Rob, what do you think after after I, I talk about that? I think it's a dangerous game. Like I, I actually don't disagree with you. It the way the market conditions are right now, people are choosing not to take the NFT route in general. They're they're first of all they have their personal expenses. We talked about gas. You know, keep cost stack on Legend VIP. We talk about how you know expenses are high. So people are now choosing, they're being more wise now on where they're putting their money with rates going up and all that stuff. They're investing less. And, if, and when they do invest, are they choosing to invest in a highly speculative space that's still very early? Or would they rather invest in markets that are a little bit more developed and established that have a proven record of return? Again, Bitcoin, you know, does the guy in 2012 who stomached so many different bear markets, who was tested so many times in his conviction of the technology, does he regret holding for five years when 2017 finally comes along? Does he regret going through another two years of winter to then realize even further gains in 2020? Uh, in, in, uh, 2020? I don't think so. And yeah. he was, that person in 2012 would have been insanely early. I remember when I first heard about Bitcoin, I did not understand it. Like, why would anybody want digital money? And back then it was trading for, for nothing compared to now, like relative to now, I literally for nothing. Is we is VV NFTs and NFTs in general going to be now the same thing? Where you look at it, you're like, what am I even buying? And then in the in the future, you look back and you say, you know, I don't regret holding. So I just want to point something out here. Yeah. I got I got one more thing after you're done here, but yeah. Yeah, this is something different. I want to say yeah. one more thing. Zuckerberg, right? He's being criticized, right, for being in too early. He said that I get a lot of people might disagree with this investment, calling it fundamentally important to the future. Uh, he added, I think we're going to resolve each of these things over different periods of time, and I appreciate the patience. And I think that those who are patient and invest with us will end up being rewarded. So it's the same kind of idea. Will you get in the future? You might have to hold. There might be better investments out there, but will your reward be greater than jumping around and potentially risking missing that next hype cycle? Sorry, wait, Joe. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, that's that's a good point. And and talking about if you just sit in it and leave your stuff in there and then come back in five years, maybe it'll have done well for you. Um, but don't wait too long because Vivi will lock your account. They've said that already. That's we true. We talked about that. So make sure you guys are checking your accounts. I think that's what right. is it, two years. If you don't look at your account years. for two years. Log in. Log in. Log in at least once, or they're going to take it away and, and lock it away, and yeah, and and put your collectibles in their own vault. No, they didn't say that, <laughs> but um, <laughs> I think it, they they mentioned that you can always reach out and unlock it. But um, no, that's I mean, is that the is that the best route to go, or 
Um, the other thing that people might think is, okay, I just mentioned like maybe Meta has to turn around before Vivi turns around. But what if Vivi is the catalyst to turn Meta around? Like what if Vivi is able to, this now, now Rob, I know you're laughing in your head, but listen, what if Vivi is able to get their stuff together, learn how to do an airdrop, okay? They learn how to do an airdrop. They bring utility that people get start talking about. Now people start thinking about, oh, these guys at Vivi, they got this utility. They got this stuff where you can go to the grocery store and you get a discount if you hold the, the lettuce, the cabbage thing. Or you can go here, whatever, like certain utilities like that. That, that That's the stuff that will get people talking. I don't think they got it what it takes right now. I, I honestly don't. I haven't seen anything from it. Uh, I think it's really, really new there. They're still figuring out their groundwork. I mean, I think eventually they'll get there, but I don't think that they have that. And I don't think that they'll get that before the rebound in the market. That's just uh, my personal opinion. But if they were able to get their stuff together, everything starts working smoothly. You start getting airdrops properly. You start getting utility. That could be the catalyst to turn meta. And if that's the case, then I would say you're not too early. Stick around. Make sure you you have a position. Make sure you're doing whatever you got to do because people are going to notice this space before they notice that space. And from what we've seen in the recent past, I don't think that they're going to be able to do that before Meta. But if they start to get their stuff around, if they start to answer tickets when people are asking questions, if they if they can get on top of the customer service and the way that the app runs, search bar, like all these very simple things, I think that they had the potential. I think I think they just got to take it like that much more serious, start to focus on the community, start to focus on the utility. If you can do that, you might be able to change the game before the, before the sec, before the, the real world turns around. Right. So yeah. um, if that's the case, like then you're even more better shape. I think if you turn the real world rather than wait for the real world to turn, then I think that you're going to be way better positioned when it comes to the future and uh, the space. Well, people are buying what they like. And even me, like, let's just say, for example, I had, Five hundred dollars, for example, it could be any amount yeah. that I I wanted to invest. Would I really, at this point in time, be thinking VV NFTs? Now, many people who are currently on VV have been in VV for a while. They believe in the project, but they've already built up a half decent, uh, you know, showroom. Right? They have a half decent co uh, collection. Um, you know, you see some of the VV. Uh, influencers, I guess you see the, the the chatter online switching over to only token rather than the VV collectibles because they believe that that will be a better investment. But not everyone's switching to Omi. They might be selling VV to switch to something else altogether. So I think there's a fair argument to be had that if you did have extra dollars that you wanted to spend, do you put it into NFT space in general? If you do choose the NFT space, do you still choose the VV NFT? Or do you go more traditional routes? Because right now the uh, there seems to be opportunity right now in the traditional markets that you can maybe take advantage of if you did have to spend some extra. Of course, nobody knows for sure. But it, it begs the question. And I'm, this is how I'm going to end it off. This is how I'm going to end it off. It does say, this is from Zuckerberg himself. He says, the people, he says, I would rather be early than fashionably late. Okay. So he, that's his mind. His mindset is you would rather be early than late. Cause if you're late, you've missed the boat it's so much harder to catch up. But if you're early, at least you don't know when it's going to happen. You might have to wait five years or longer. You never know what that day is going to come, but at least you are in the space. You're playing the game. And people, someone says time in the market beats. Uh, what is it? Uh, flipping? Time in the market. Time in the market is, is ultimate. I can't remember the last time is the, the time in the market beats timing the market. Yeah, that's right. Time in the market beats timing the market. And there's a lot of truth to that because time in the market is very difficult. Whereas when you think you're defeated, when you think you've lost it all, somehow the universe has a way to take your, you know, 25 cent stock that you bought in the Bitcoin craze at $2 brings that stock to seven out of nowhere three years later. Yeah. And, you know, if you if you lose your conviction, you sell it at all at the all time lows. You have no i no you have no chance anymore of returning uh, to those to those all time highs. That's my that's my last thought. Yeah, I think that's it. I think uh, we've made you guys think a little bit here. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Like like Rob mentioned, is traditional investing the way to go? Is this space uh, able to flip before? Uh, the traditional investing space. Do you think that Vivi has what it takes to put in place utility and clean up all of the bugs uh, before that time? Uh, if they do, I think they have a shot. I mean, if, they, if they're if they able to get utility going and getting that little bit of chatter, 
why not why not be the first there why do we have to wait for facebook why do we have to wait for meta maybe the budgeting is an issue uh, maybe the licensors have some issues to slow it down but uh, i want to hear what you guys have to say about that yeah i want i want to know your thoughts well I'm, I'm actually curious to know if are you guys interested in hearing our thoughts more on on other potential options that are out there right now because like joe and i are talking about it and we're saying what is what is the best way to invest whatever amount that is going to be is it the ob token is it more vvnts or is it another nft project or is it not the nft space altogether maybe you take that 500 you put a portion of it somewhere else we're curious to know what you guys are doing you're cur we're curious to know if you want to hear more about other thoughts as well um and let us know if you believe we are all too early or is it something that maybe it's better to be early than late so let us know your thoughts below and if you haven't already don't forget Become a superstar, smash the subscribe button, join the superstar fam, hit the bell notification button so you get every video every single day we're hitting it with you. You never know what we're going to hit you with. Also now, superstar VIP membership. Lou, you just saw it. We just had some extra giveaways right now for some whitelist. That's great. Uh, congrats to all the winners. Superstar Ian Barnes. Um, congratulations. He's helping us all the time in the comments below, uh, letting us know some advice on the uh, – <laughs> he got spawned right there on uh, some of the comics that are coming out. Uh, we also got uh, the star beside your name. You have a chance at a giveaway uh, for start get get maybe a, a star in the universe named after you. Get our spreadsheets to help you on drop day. Uh, there's different tools, uh, market an analysis. You can compare your market caps. Uh, you can maybe decide if you want to sweep the floor or not. Um, and yeah, first dibs on merch. I we got some we got some more surprises coming. So thank you guys all so much for all your support. Thank you to all the superstars. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Love you. Bye.